Sneasel. Vicious in nature, it drives Pidgey from their nests and feasts on the eggs that are left behind. Hopefully that ruffian Sneasel is left by now. I told you we should have gotten that ring camera for the front of the- Our children! Get away from our babies, you monster! It's gonna be okay, Danny. Daddy's here. Breathe, baby, breathe. He's gonna fix Don't it. Don't go towards the light. Call 911! Don't go towards the light! Hey, neighbors. Heard a commotion over here. Was wondering- Oh, dear lord, no! How does this happen? We're Pokemon. We eat berries and cupcakes. We don't die, we faint. We're rated E for everyone. Not M for murder. Not T for terrible. Not D for devastating. I'm taking Danny to the Pokemon Center and they're gonna fix him right up. Put him in that little BP machine and heal all his- They're gone, Ted. They're gone. And there's no way to replace- So a trainer just rode his bike in a circle for an hour and we have three new eggs? Pretty much. Huh. Neat. Hey, can I drop off my Sneasel here? Yeah, sure, I've got some space in the egg room. Follow me. Huh. Neat. Whoa, two in the same video. What? Nothing. by the length of its horn and the beauty of its fins, many strange trainers raise Goldeen and nothing but Goldeen. Go, Goldeen! Enchant them with the beauty of your fins! Your exquisite, sexy fins! Oh, God, look at how they shimmer. Well, uh, I know bug types like myself are normally strong against water types, but that display of grossness? That was super effective. Ha <laughs> ha! It's no wonder you can't withstand the power of her fins, Cretan. But you do make a good point about type weaknesses. Can't put my precious Goldeen in danger now, could I? Don't want to damage her lovely horn. So long and hard. Arceus Christ. Go, Goldeen! Behold, my mega evolved Goldeen! That's a Goldeen with lipstick and eyeshadow. Ha <laughs> ha! Of course you are stupefied by the majesty of my Goldeen. But perhaps you are right again, Ignoramus. Perhaps I should give another of my Pokemon the opportunity to battle. Did... did I say that? I don't... I don't think I said that. Oh, yes, this is the one. This Pokemon will do the job. Let me guess. Go, Go Goldie! Oh my god, yeah! Oh, so hot! Uh, yes, hello? Uh, is this Pokemon Protective Services? Yeah, I have a guy here who is way too into his Goldeens. Another one? He had a lot of these calls. Just keep him busy for a few minutes while we send someone out to your location. So just let him talk about his Goldeens. That seems to work with these types. Have I talked to you about her fins yet? Goldeen, Goldeen. They'll be there shortly. Goldeen, Goldeen. Goldeen. Goldeen loves swimming wild and free in rivers and ponds. If one of these Pokemon is placed in an aquarium, it will shatter even the thickest glass with one ram of its horn and make its escape. You know, normally I just uh, bust out of here in a single ram, but I'm thinking we should just live here now. It's safer than going back out there with those monsters. Look what they did to George. I'm a pretty, pretty princess. I I'll go get all bags. Oddish. It may be mistaken for a clump of weeds. If you try to yank it out of the ground, it shrieks horribly. Uh, sir? I'm Ben? Ben Haverschmidt? I answered the job listing. You said you needed a farmhand? Sure did. Welcome aboard. You, uh, you don't look like you're from around here. No, I'm, I'm not. First time in Kanto. I'm from Kansas City. United States? Sure, I've heard of it. Well... Harvest is coming up, so hope you're ready, Ben. Got cows to milk, chickens to feed, and uh, 40 acres to tend to. I'm ready for it. I'm trying to start over after... an accident. Oh, 
well, that look in your eye makes me think that there's a sad backstory somewhere in there. Gonna leave that hanging and kind of just get you started with some of the cows, okay? For you, Gwen. I'm gonna do it for you. I just wanted to say, thanks, Carl. Working here has been real good for me. That mean you're gonna tell me who Gwen is, finally? How'd you- Come on, son, I weren't born yesterday. <laughs> nope, you clearly weren't. Hey, now. Gwen was my wife. We were in a terrible accident. After her death, I made a vow that I wouldn't let grief consume me. I'd put myself back together and live a life that Gwen would be proud of. I reckon she'd be mighty proud. Thanks, Carl. All right, let me get rid of this clump of weeds and we can get back to- ah! What was that? That was an Oddish. What the hell is an Oddish? It's a Pokemon. I never explained Pokemans. Our whole society is predicated on weird little critters what you catch in balls. Sometimes they're shrieking plants, sometimes they're floating rocks with arms. Then there are the fairy key ones, and then the ones that are like, you know, ghost saying castles. And there's like a group of eggs that, you know, is one creature, but it's also like a group of eggs. Or, uh, what, what, do you, what do you call them now? Magnet triplets? And then there's like clone goo, and I mean, there's a whole bunch of crazy ones. I mean, ones that are like legitimate gods. But, you know, we, we catch them in balls and they kind of make our society work. Anyway, um, they all have souls and uh, have enough sentience to love. So that one you just killed there might have had a Gwen of its own. No. What have I done? What have I done?! Don't you want to hear about EV training? Yeah, I, I reckon that's probably a better choice. Death. Makuhita. Makuhita has a tireless spirit. It will never give up hope. It eats a lot of food, gets plenty of sleep, and it trains very rigorously. By living that way, this Pokemon packs its body with energy. Yep, that's me, Makuhita. I never give up hope. If you live a healthy, clean life, and always try your hardest, you can take on any challenge. Deoxys. Deoxys emerged from a virus that came from space. It is highly intelligent and wields psychokinetic powers. This Pokemon shoots lasers from the crystalline organ on its chest. Behold me, Earth, a being beyond all comprehension. Pure power given flesh through means unknown. An extraterrestrial virus capable of wiping out life on entire planets. Now a sentient being with one thought, destroy. That is my purpose. That is my will, and that is your destiny. Hey buddy, if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. But watch out, I'm Makuhita, the gutsy Pokemon. Is he serious right now? He did hear all the stuff about me being a super intelligent, very, very powerful space virus, right? Yeah, but did you hear that I got a good night's sleep and had a balanced breakfast this morning? Hiya! that the best you got? Oh boy, you were probably thinking you were going to be fighting some caterpillars or weird birds, right? I mean, your trainer should not have put you up against sentient space COVID, which is basically what I am times a million. So you should just stay down while you have a chance to survive this. Otherwise, I can't promise you anything. I never stay down, except right now because both of my legs are shattered. Also, I was thinking that you and your other Pokemon friends should probably unionize. I passed like eight actual gods on the way to you, and they were all fighting these little birds called Pidgeys. I think that's what you call them on your planet. It's, it's really fucked up, because I'm like a super powerful living virus from outer space. Countries should be sending nukes and their entire armies to stop me. But I'm up against you and your trainer and other kids like him who are just throwing their little pets at me. And it's just 
It's, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Makuhita? Of course, you can always count on Makuhi. <coughs> I think my organs are failing. <sighs> so, our trainer's name is Timmy. Uh, it's actually Jimmy with a J. Uh, okay. Sunkern. It may drop out of the sky suddenly. If attacked by a Spearow, it will violently shake its leaves. Oh, we got a frickin' big shot over here, huh? Spearow? More like frickin' Zero. You wanna frickin' go with this seed? You can't handle all these leaves. Oh, hey man, sorry. I'm just, I'm not looking for any trouble here. Oh, that's too bad, brother. Cause trouble just found you. Cousin, get down here. Come on, bro, Mikey. I can't do another assault charge. Well, then we better make sure to break his freaking beak, yeah? So he don't go squawking off in the office of Jenny or nothing. All right, whatever you say, Mikey. You guys are weirdly aggressive for tiny talking seeds. Pineco. A pineco hangs from a tree branch and waits for prey. While eating, if it is disturbed by someone shaking its tree, it falls on the ground and suddenly explodes. Yeah, I'm just gonna slowly back up and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who is down there shaking my frickin' tree? Uh, I barely grazed the tree trunk with my feathers, so I, I wouldn't call that shaking. My frickin' children were frickin' asleep, bro. You come into my home and you shake my children awake? Uh-uh. It's frickin' go time, bro. Um, did a pinecone just suicide bomb me? I am so freaking out of here. Oh god, I can't feel my legs, Mikey! I can't feel my freaking legs! We ain't freaking got no legs, so, uh, I think it's possible you just, uh, concussed. I can't feel my freaking legs! Hey, this is Mike. Thanks for watching. And thanks to our patrons for keeping independent animation alive. And go ahead and check out the Dorkly Patreon. We got all this cool stuff and it really helps us out.